Hi, this is Sudha and today in this video I will let you know very basics about hydroponics and the basic stuff needed to set up hydroponic system using basic hydroponic technique that is Cracky's method. So hydroponic is basically a soilless farming that means in this system the plants are grown in water rather than soil. So this technique is best suited for indoor gardening. Now the basic stuff needed to set up this system using Cracky's method is as we can see here it's a rock wool, net cups, these are the three nutrients, pH meter, EC and PPM meter, grow light, some containers and of course some seeds or seedlings. So let, now let me go through quickly about how these stuffs will be used in our hydroponic setup. Rock wool. This is rock wool. I have two rock wool in two sizes. So it holds the root system of the plant in water and it is the medium in which the root grows till it reaches the nutrient solution. It comes in different sizes depending upon the net cups. Depending upon the net cup size and plants it can be used. Here we have the net cup. It is, a, it is also a growing medium in which the root grows in their own way. It holds along the bottom and sides of the uh, pot, sorry, net pot and uh, it promotes healthier and bigger root growth. Here is the pH meter. It is a device which helps in measuring the pH of the water and the nutrient solutions. Here we can see the range of the pH and uh, the plant grows well within the range of 6.5 to 5. Now we have the EC meter. It is again a device uh, which checks the strength of the nutrient solution. Each plant grows well within a range of EC level. Here comes the nutrients. Uh, it is the uh, nutrients uh, which the plant needs to grow. It comes in three parts. This is micro, grow and bloom. Uh, we have here a uh, grow light. So this grow light is only used if we don't get proper sunlight at the growing place. It's an optional. Now we have here seeds. Of course some seeds are uh, used needed for the growth of the plant or seedlings. Uh, now I will quickly show you how we are going to use this stuff. Coming to the rock wool, uh, first it needs to be placed in pure drinking water so that it absorbs water. We can keep this for two minutes. Now two minutes is over and now I'll take out this rock wool. And keep it like this so that the extra water drains off. Extra water has been drained off and now we can put the seeds inside it. So here we have some coriander seeds. We can put one seed inside it. One seed in one rock wool. Okay, so I have kept the seeds inside this rock wool and now it can be covered and kept in warm place. So, uh, 
it takes some time to germinate mostly it takes 10 to 12 days for the sprouts to come out once the sprouts comes out we can keep it uh, we can put this rock wool in the nutrient solution so now i will quickly show you how to mix uh, the three part nutrient solution so uh, i have taken one uh, one liter of pure drinking water to make this video short i have already taken a ph balanced water so i'll show uh, first we'll just check the ph of this water so i am using this ph meter to measure the ph of this water I have taken some water in this test tube and I will put 3 drops of this solution into it. I will just shake it and now we can check the pH level of this water. We can see it's in the range it's 6.5 as we see this uh, water uh, this the ph is in level and we can this water is ready to prepare the nutrient solution now i'll quickly uh, start making this solution here we can see the direction this the first uh, part is the micro so we have to take this micro first and as we see in the direction it is uh, written that we can use 2 ml per liter for small plants so I'm going to take 2 ml as this is 1 liter so I'll just take 2 ml of micro So now I'm taking this uh, micro. This is the first part of the nutrient, and I will just take two ml of this. Here we can see it's two ml. So I'll take this in this very small, very less water. And I'll pour it inside because this should not be poured in concentrated form. So I've just diluted it. And now I pour this in the pH balanced water which is 1 liter. I will stir it and keep it aside for 2 minutes. Then I will use the second part of the nutrient that is grow. Two minutes is over and I am going to take uh, the second part of the nutrient that is grow. I will take 2 ml of grow. So here we can see it is 2 ml. I will put it in this plain water because this should not be poured in a concentrated form. So I've diluted it and now I'll pour it, the second part of the nutrient in this water, in this solution. So now I'll just stir it and wait for two minutes. Two minutes is over now and uh, this is the last part of the nutrient solution it's a bloom and here also we can see it's 2 ml per liter it's in the direction so I'm going to take 2 ml of bloom see we have 2 ml and I'll pour it in this water to make it diluted Now I'll pour this solution in this water. Again I'll stir it. So now my nutrient solution is ready and now I'm going to check the EC of this solution. 
here we have the EC uh, meter so I'll put this in this solution like this and here I can see the EC it's 1428 micro semen which is good for the small plants like coriander or mint I'm also going to check the pH of this solution now so now I'll take this solution in this test tube use this put three drops so now I can see it's within the range this nutrient solution is within the range it's in between 6 and 6.5 which is good range my nutrient solution is ready which is uh, which has the EC and also pH in the range I'll take uh, this solution and put it in this container in this container I'm going to uh, grow mint I have kept this, I have uh, wrapped it with the aluminium foil so that the light do not get inside and I have just left some space so that I can see the water level. So I filled it uh, with this solution and I have kept this nap pot in this. So in Cracky's method we should make sure that uh, this uh, the level the solutions should be uh, the net pot should be uh, filled from the bottom third uh, so uh, one third of this uh, pot should be inside this solution so as you can see here we have this solution and the net pot is dipped into this solution To make this video short, I have already uh, taken this uh, mint mint stem. You can see the roots have come out from the stem and I have inserted it inside this rock wool and now I will put this rock wool in this solution. So here my cracky system is ready. Uh, it's a technique that allows us to grow hydroponically or uh, without electricity, pump or wicks of any kind. In fact, we don't even have to change the reservoir or add nutrients. It is the easiest and cheapest method we could uh, ever use to grow hydroponically. And it is best suited for herbs and small plants. So guys, anybody who wants to try their hands in growing coriander, mint, lettuce or spinach follow the steps I have shared in this video using the crackers method and believe me it's fun and great experience thanks for watching this video bye